Today we're going to look at the Poly X30. Um, the X30 is a, is a dedicated Microsoft Teams device. It's essentially the device that you can see up above me. Um, so it's, the, it's called a collaboration bar um, that's sitting on top of the screen. So it's an all-in-one solution. The idea is you can buy the X30, put it into a meeting room, connect it to a screen um, and configure it and, and you're up and running. But very simple to install, um, very simple to kind of retrofit to any existing screens you might have. Now in my case here, I've got it connected to a screen that's interactive. So that means that I'm going to have options, I can actually use the interactive screen behind me to do things like join the call. So I'm going to show you uh, three ways today of using the, uh, the X30 in a Teams call, um, three different ways of joining the call. Really just trying to show how simple it is. Um, we could do a deep dive separately, this, this isn't a deep dive, um, so it's really just trying to, just to show how easy it is to, um, to join these meetings and control the meetings. So the first, um, well the first point is I've set up a meeting, um, so I've set up a Teams meeting, I've invited the room, so this device signs into a Teams account. In my case the Teams account is called Teams Room. Um, so I've invited Teams Room to my meeting and I can see on the screen here it's showing me that there is currently a meeting going on, it's called X30 Demo and I've got an option to join the meeting. So I've just walked into the meeting room, I want to, um, I want to join the Teams meeting, so I can just simply go to the screen. And remember it's interactive, so I can just go to the screen and I can just say join. And I'm just going to press the button here just to join the call. And we can see in the background the meeting started, um, so the camera on the room is, in the room is turned on. Uh, we might see this camera moving around a bit as we go through these demos. Um, so it, uh, it does speaker tracking, um, so it will zoom in on the speaker, um, you know, depending on where the speaker is in the room. But anyway, we've joined the meeting, um, so as simple as that, walk in, single touch, and the meeting starts. Now I do have some additional controls here, so if I press the screen, I get um, the little command bar come up. Be familiar to anyone that's uh, that's you know that's currently using Teams. So I've got various options on there. I can turn my camera on and off. I can mute my microphone. Look at the participant list, or I can add additional participants to this call. Um, if I go into more options, I can do things like put the call on hold, turn on live captions, raise hand, uh, turn off incoming video. So so very familiar kind of options that we see in the Teams client on the PC or on the client on a on a mobile phone, be it uh, Android or iOS. Okay, my final option there is to actually hang up the call. Um, so let's just quickly do that. So that was just that was the first option, uh, probably the simplest. Walk into the meeting room, press the screen, meeting starts. But then additionally, um, this is an interactive screen. It won't always be an interactive screen that we've got in a meeting room. So I've got the Poly TC8 panel on the desk, which is often bundled and sold with the um, with the X30. Now the the panel, if I just give you a close-up of that, so there's various buttons on here. Um, one of them is, is join. So just like I went to the screen and I said join, I can just press the panel here. So if, let's just get a view of the room and the panel together. So let's do that. I'm going to join the meeting, but this time from the panel. So I'm just saying join. And we can see um, in the background the, uh, the system has joined the call. Um, I've got some other options on here. Actually, I mentioned the fact the camera uh, was tracking. Um, well, one of my options here is to turn tracking. Well, I can see at the moment tracking is turned off. So if I turn the tracking on, and actually I can now see that it's zooming in, so it's locating me as the speaker and uh, is zooming in on me. So that's one of the controls. And actually, interestingly, I don't know, I've not come across that control actually on the screen. Um, but anyway. I can do things like uh, I can mute the microphone from here, um, I can end the call, I can turn the volume up and down. So I can do all the basic call control stuff from the uh, from the table here. If I wanted to do things like turn my camera on and off or go to some of those more advanced options, then I use the arrow keys to navigate to them on the screen. So if I just, you notice when I press the button here, the options came up behind me. And if you just keep your eye on the screen just here, you'll see that I'm now navigating across and if I come all of the way over to the option which is the camera, then if I just select 
and you can see I'm just turning the camera off from here and I can turn it back on again. And I can go to any of the options on screen and do that. Um, so, so that's controlling it from the panel. If, if I'm completely honest, um, I, I'm not a huge fan of that at the moment. Um, but I should point out that um, the Microsoft Roadmap um, changes the, uh, the look and feel of this panel. So today, this is the Android-based Microsoft uh, Meeting Room solution. Um, so it's now becoming known as MTROA, so Microsoft Teams Room on Android. And we've also got MTROW, Microsoft Teams Room on Windows. And the Windows panel today, I feel is much more intuitive than this. Uh, we can get direct to all of the options that we want. If we want to do a raise hand, we've got a button for raise hand, for example. Um, but uh, so I, I would say today the Windows device has a slight advantage there. Um, but this is going to be updated so you have the same um, same look and feel on the uh, on the panel. So I think that's something um, you know very much to to look forward to, especially for organisations where you may have some rooms that might be MTR on Windows. And maybe you've got reasons for going down that route. Uh, maybe you want specialised cameras or audio equipment in those rooms. Maybe in some of the other rooms where, where it's more suited to the kind of all-in-one device, like the X30 or the X50, which is kind of the big brother to this system. Um, you know, we, we might end up with an environment where we've got both the Windows and the Android devices. So from a user experience perspective, it'd be much better when the interface uh, looks the same on the table. Okay, anyway, that was the uh, that was the second way of joining the meeting. So we'll just hang up on that. So the third way is from my laptop. So I've got a, so this is just my Windows laptop running the Teams client. And this time I'm going to look at Proximity Join. So Proximity Join is a way that my laptop, when I enter the room, it detects the fact that there's a system in the room. So let's just show you that because it's easier to see. So if I go into any of my meetings and I say join. When I do this in a room that's got one of these devices, I can see I get this, this bar pop up at the bottom here and it tells me there's a Teams room nearby and it gives me an option to join and add this room. Now ordinarily that wouldn't be there. If I was at my desk I would just simply say join now um, and, and that would join using my camera in my laptop and my microphone and speakers in my laptop. But if I go to this option and say join and add this room, and we'll just change the view again so that you can keep an eye on my laptop and also what's happening in the room here. So I'll say join and add this room. And you'll see in the background the, um, the X30 is also joined. It's joined with the camera turned off. Um, I'm actually just going to reach back and turn that on just so that, um, just so that you can see on my PC it's now, um, it's now using the camera in the room here. So, um, yeah, so, th so that's proximity join. Um, I didn't need to invite the, the Teams room to the meeting at all. So it's just, it's one of my meetings. I'm in the room. There happens to be a system in here that, uh, that will support me joining. So, um, yeah, so, so I just do the proximity join. Now, the advantage to this is that my laptop has also joined the meeting. So if I'm now going to do some content sharing, well, I just go straight to my laptop, go to content share, and and just you know share away. Um, so it's kind of the you know the best of both worlds. I've got the very simple join, but I've also got the you know the the greater ability to do some content sharing and some more some of the more advanced features functionality from my laptop. Maybe a whiteboard, um, you know, if I want. Okay, but that's that's the three simple ways of joining the meeting using the X thirty.